Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin how to find combinations of n object taken r at a time. Okay, so balikan muna natin ang meaning ng combination. So again, when we say combination, so this is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. Okay, so to find the uh, combination of n objects taken R at a time, so we have this formula. So we have C, or combination of n taken R at a time is equal to n factorial all over R factorial times the quantity of n minus R factorial. So tandaan lang natin that uh, n stands or uh, represent the number of objects and R is the number of objects you want to select. Okay, so let us try to uh, solve yung ilang uh, examples na meron tayo. So for number 1, find the combination of uh, 8 taken 3 at a time or C8-3. Okay, so again, um, based from the formula, so let us identify first ano yung N. So from the given, ang N natin is 8, then ang R natin is 3. So, using this uh, two or this uh, information, so we'll just simply plug in ito doon sa ating formula. So, we have combination of 8 taken 3 at a time is equal to n factorial or 8 factorial all over r factorial. So, we have 3 factorial times n minus r or 8 minus 3 factorial. So, there are several ways for us to uh, find the uh, answer or simplify this uh, equation. So, yung una, pwede natin kunin ang value ng 8 factorial. So, ang 8 factorial is equal to 40,320. Divided by 3 factorial is uh, equals to 6 or equal to 6. So, this will be multiplied to 8 minus 3. So, we have 5. 5 factorial. So, that is equal to 120. Okay. So, kapag sinimplify natin to, so, we have 40,320. Uh, 6 times 120 is 720. And 40,320 divided by 720, so this is equal to 56. Okay. So if you will notice, based dun sa ating naging solution, uh, it just happened na uh, yung mga value ng ating factorial ay uh, memoriado o napaka-importante na at least memorize natin para mas madali tayong mag-simplify. So kung hindi naman, So, meron tayong ibang paraan, so as I've mentioned kanina, uh, ng pagsusolve. So, pwede nating isolve siya. So, we have, again, kopyain ko lang, combination of 8 taken 3 at a time. So, sabi natin na uh, this is equal to, oh, dito ko na isulat sa baba. So, 8 factorial over 3 factorial times the quantity of 8 minus 3 factorial. So, simplify natin. So, yung 8 factorial can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. So, tigil ako sa 5 factorial. So, lagay ko lang yung 3 factorial sa 3 times 2 times 1. So, 8 minus 3, we have 5 factorial. So, para makancel natin to. So, from here, pwede ulit tayong magcancel So, pwede natin i-cancel itong uh, 8. Tsaka itong 2. So, 8 divided by 2, we have 4. Ito, 1. Then, yung 6 divided by 3. So, we have 2. Ito, magiging 1. So, yung denominator natin, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So, yung ating imumultiply na lang yung mga nasa numerator. So, we have 4 times 7, 28 times 2. So, we have 
56. Okay. Okay, so for uh, the next one, so we have combination of 12 taken 4 at a time. So, ang n natin dito is 12 and uh, r is equal to 4. Okay, so ipa-plug lang natin yung given dun sa ating formula. So, we have n factorial. So, this is 12 factorial all over r factorial so ang r natin is 4 so 12 minus 4 factorial so 12 factorial natin uh, sulat natin as 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial so ang 4 factorial sa denominator so this is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 then, 12 minus 4, so we have 8 factorial. So, pwede na natin i-cancel ito. Okay. So, tingnan natin. Baka pwede, meron tayong pwedeng uh, ma-simplify mula dun sa equation. O, ma-cancel. So, itong 12 divided by 4, so pwede. So, this is 3. This becomes 1. Okay. So, aside from that, meron pa. Itong 3, pwedeng i-cancel. 9 divided by 3, so this is 3. Ito 1. Then lastly, so we have 10 divided by 2. So this is 1. Yung numerator natin magiging 5. So sa numerator, ang matitira natin is 3 times 11 times 5 times 3. Over. Okay, so kahit di na natin alagay kasi ang uh, magiging uh, denominator naman natin is 1. So, from here, so we have 3 times 11, 33. 33 times 5, we have 165. 165 times 3. So, the answer is 495. Okay, so let's try to solve this uh, third example. So, we have combination of 8 taken R at a time is equal to 70. Okay, so ano yung napapansin nyo mga classmate? So, from uh, our first two examples, so this time, uh, meron tayong value ng combination of N objects taken R at a time which is equal to 70. So, ang nawawala natin is yung value ng R. Okay, so just like what we did dun sa ating unang dalawang example, so we'll just simply write first yung value ng ating given. Ang n natin is 8. Then aside from that, we have uh, this value for combination of n taken r at a time, which is equal to 70. Then, in this problem, so we're going to uh, look ano yung value ng r. Okay. So again, itong step na ipapakita ko sa inyo, ito ay parang uh, number trick. Although we can solve this algebraically, pero I uh, opted to uh, show itong uh, number trick. Ano? So para at least mas mapabilis yung ating uh, solution. So from the uh, given, okay, so identify natin yung uh, n, 8, Sulat natin dito and then multiply natin dun sa number na mas mababa sa kanya, yung kasunod niya. So in this case, 8 times 7. So in, the answer is 56. And then yung quotient, ay sorry, yung product. Tandaan na, yung ating uh, product, i-divide natin dun sa value ng combination of n taken r at a time na 70. Then kunin natin yung Quotient. So, ang quotient, 56 divided by 70. So, this is equal to 0.8. Okay. So, ito yung magiging basis natin kung titigil na ba tayo dun sa gagawin nating process. So, yung 0.8 o yung magiging quotient, tandaan natin dapat titigil tayo kung nakita natin na pwede siyang isulat sa kanyang factorial form. So, yung point, uh, 0.8 obviously hindi pa. So, if that's the case, so tutuloy natin yung 
ginawa natin sa first step. So, we have 8 times 7. This time, yung mas uh, dagdagan pa natin nung mas mababa, nung kasunod ng 7, which is 6. So, 8 times 7 times 6. Again, so kunin yung uh, product. So, this is equal to 336. Then, yung uh, product, i-divide uli dun sa value ng combination uh, of n taken r at a time. So, 336 divided by 70, the answer is 4.8. Okay, so pwede na ba siyang isulat sa factorial form? So kung ang sagot ay hindi, so itutuloy pa natin. So proceed pa tayo. 8 times 7 times 6. This time, dadagdag tayo ng isang mas mababa. So times 5. So the answer here is 1,680. Then divided by 70. So ang sagot dito is 24. Okay. So, analyze nyo yung 24. So, yung 24 ba pwedeng isulat sa kanyang factorial form? So, yes. Dahil ang uh, factorial form o yung other form ng uh, 24. Actually, this is a product of uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang 24 can also be written as 4 factorial. Okay, so if that's the case, so meron na tayong value ng r. So ang r natin is equal to 4. Okay, so you can check if uh, the answer is correct. So gagamitan nyo uli ng ating formula for combination. Okay, so let's try another one. So same case, so we have combination of 10 taken R at a time equals to 120. So again, sulat natin, N is 10. Then combination of N taken R at a time, so we have 120. Then R is missing. Okay, so using yung uh, value ng uh, N, so, we have 10 times 9. So, dun muna tayo. 10 times 9. So, this is 90. Then, divide mo doon sa CNR or yung value ng combination of N taken R at a time, which is 120. So, 90 divided by or 90 over 120 is 0.75. So, obviously, 0.75, di pa natin pwedeng isulat sa kanyang factorial form. So, sunod tayo. 10 times 9 times 8. So, the answer here is 720 divided by 120. So, 720 divided by 120, the answer is 6. Okay, check nyo. 6 ba ay pwedeng isulat in factorial form? So, if yes, kunin nyo yung 6 and then this is a product of 3 times 2 times 1. So, ibig sabihin, 6 is equal to 3 factorial. So, if that's the case, the value of R is equal to, okay, 3. Okay, so for our uh, fifth example, we have combination of N taken 3 at a time. So, this is equal to 35. Okay, so compare dun sa huling dalawang example na sinagutan natin. So this time, ang uh, nawawala naman dito ay yung value ng n. Still, we have this value of for uh, combination of n taken r at a time which is equal to 35. And then ang r natin has a value of 3. Okay. So if this is the case, so we're going to solve this differently dun sa... Uh, or, uh, Yung gagamitin nating number trick dito ay iba dun sa uh, huling dalawa. So, ito ang unang magiging basis ng ating solution. So, dahil ang R natin ay 3, so we're going to represent 3 consecutive numbers in terms of uh, N. So, we have N times N or product of 3 consecutive numbers. In terms of N, so we have N times N minus 1 times N minus 2. So, dahil ang ating R ay 3, so tatlong consecutive numbers din. So, kung ito ay 4, 
So, magdadagdag tayo ng n minus 3 pa dito. Okay. So, tuloy natin. And then, this will be divided with uh, ang r natin is 3. So, kunin nyo lang yung factorial. Then, equate this to the value of combination of n taken r at a time or 35. So, if that's uh, in that case, ang CNR natin is 35 over 1. Okay, so bakit? Kasi we're going to uh, perform yung cross multiplication. So, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times 1. So, this is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Then, 3 factorial. So, we all know that 3 factorial is 6. So, 6 times 35. So, the answer here is 210. Okay. So, in this case, ang susunod na nating step na gagawin dito is actually trial and error na. Bakit? Kasi, since we have this 210, and this is equated to uh, 3 consecutive numbers, so, ibig sabihin, we're going to uh, look for 3 consecutive uh, numbers na kapag kinuha natin yung product, ang sagot is 210. Okay. So, in this case, ang 210 is equal to the product of 5, 6, 7. Or 5 times 6 times 7. So, from here, kung ano yung pinakamalaking value, so, yun yung magiging value ng ating n. Okay, so yung ating last example, we have combination of n taken 4 at a time equals to 15. Again, so ang n is missing. So ang uh, value ng uh, C, n, r or combination of n taken r at a time is 15. Then we have this r equal to 4. So dahil ang r natin is 4, so mag-uumpisa yung solution sa 4 consecutive Numbers, kung saan, uh, in terms of n, ang ginagamit natin, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, again, so dahil uh, 4, so magkakaroon tayong n minus 3. Over, ang r natin is 4 factorial. Again, this is will be, or this will be equated to CNR, value of CNR, which is 15 over 1. So, cross multiplication, ang susunod na step. So, we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. So, 4 factorial. So, ang value nito is 24. 24 times 15. So, ang sagot ay 360. Again. So, dahil meron na tayong uh, equation na to. So, ibig sabihin, this time, ang hahanapin natin ay apat na consecutive numbers na ang product ay 360. So, in this case, yung uh, apat na consecutive numbers na yon ay through a trial and error is equal to 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Okay, so again, Sabi ko, yung value ng n dito, so kung ano yung pinakamataas, so yun yung magiging value ng ating n. Okay, so that's it. I hope ay, uh, meron kayo natutunan sa lesson natin ngayong araw and uh, feel free to share this video to others, especially sa iba pa nating classmate para mas marami pa tayong matulong iba. Until next time!